What's up guys? Welcome back to EMC. So we have the Luso out today. Uh, it's six o'clock in the morning. Sorry boys, I know it's really early for you guys. Uh, no, it's a little bit rainy, but you know, shout out to you. It's a little bit rainy, but you know, it's a little bit rainy, but you know, it's a little bit rainy, but you know, it's a little bit rainy. You know, the GTC4 Luso is a grand tour, right? It's a four-seater, you can do trips with it. I know a lot of people don't do trips with it, but you know, today we're really gonna see how this car works in everyday life. And for me, you know, going surfing is a big part of it. I mean, do I really take it surfing? No, no, but just the fact of having it and being able to is really, really cool, okay? Yeah, we're gonna get on our way, and then uh, we'll go to a couple beaches, you know, check out check out the scenery. I'll talk to you a little in the car about what I feel about this car, how what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, which is very few. I really like this car a lot, and uh, that's about it. So, uh, you know, let's get on our way. You guys ready? Okay, let's go. So it is raining, so I'm gonna put it in wet mode. You know, this car has, um, you know, a little bit different on the Manatino setting. It has a uh, snow mode, wet mode, comfort mode, sport mode, and ESC off. There is no race like, uh, you know, the 4EDA or the Pista or, you know, the 812, whatever. There's no race setting on the Manatino. I think one of the reasons for that is this car is for you to relax in, you know? You're not trying to uh, go, you know, track it so much, right? And typically the people who have this car probably have a track oriented car for that very purpose and this is just kind of how they get from home to the track, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm on the wet setting. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we're here. Um, and uh, I mean, the waves are super small, so it's No woman, so yeah, this is probably one of my favorite parts about coming to the surf is that, you know, when you walk through this, it kind of feels like you're in Bali Dao or something. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we just surfed, and uh, the waves were small, but it was still fun. You know, surfing is always better than not surfing. So now we're packing this car, and uh, this is a proper surf car. Look at this. I got all my stuff in here. Some trash. <laughs> we're good. You guys ready? Yep. Got my little EMC bat. 
<laughs> now we're uh, I'm gonna take you to by the docks and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about this car and yeah we shout out to the Shishin and the whole guy which you had details. No, so what? So, and we want to talk about this car a little bit. Sometimes I got to pinch myself to, you know, even believe that this is a real car. Come, come over here, look at this. Look at that. Okay, see how long that front end is? So this car is a V12, six liter, front mounted mid engine which is really strange. What does that mean? Front mounted mid engine. That means usually a mid engine car is, you know, with the engine in the back, like a traditional Ferrari, right? But this car, if you look at the front, I mean the first like, I would say two to three feet of it is just the front end. And then the engine doesn't start until about here. And then it goes all the way into where your console is right there. So uh, yeah, front mounted mid engine. How trippy is that? It generates 681 horsepower. Uh, it's got boatloads of torque because it is a V12. Uh, gas mileage sucks fucking But you know, um, you buy this car because it's the end of an era. You know, you don't know if they're gonna make any more V12s. They probably won't. Uh, or at least like at least normal models, right? So um, yeah, so this car, we have the EMC wheels on this, as you can see. Uh, I got a friend that calls these wheels pizza because they are fucking huge. Those are 22s in the back and 21s in the front. And I believe they're 22 by two, no, 335. 335, come over here, check this shit out. Look at how wide those tires are. Yeah, it's a 335, let me double check. Yeah, 335. That's crazy, man. Carbon ceramic brakes. Like I said, it's a two plus two, a proper four seater. Not like your Roma, not like your, you know, California. They do have back seats, but nobody fits in the back, you know? This, you can ride two six-footers in the front and in the back. It'll be a little tight, but they'll have enough headroom and legroom for a comfortable hour drive. They'll be fine, you know? I could, I get to go on trips with it. Um, you know, I get to pick my kids up from school. So I do have this car lowered um, because I felt like the stock settings, like I said, in the car, the Manantino, um, they don't have a race setting on this car. So this car wasn't really made for the track. It does have a snow setting, it has a rain setting, it has a comfort setting, it has uh, the, the sport setting and then the ESC off and that's it on the Manitino. No racing, no race setting. So, you know, which means the setting is a little bit softer. Uh, that's why when I got the car, when the first thing I, I did was um, I got the Novatech springs on it. It dropped it by uh, maybe like about an inch and a half and uh, it sits really well with the wheels. Um, and you know, it does stiffen up the ride a little bit. You know, I got a lot of new stuff coming onto this car. So we wanted to show you guys kind of the 1.0 version of this. Here it is. I mean, it's a little messy, but uh, so yeah, I have one, two, I have three boards in here and then I can ride another adult in the front. Um, you know, I have my water, I have my change of clothes. Yeah, I mean, this the back seats drop down. It's great, man. This car is, I can't think of any other car that in its class range that can do this. You know, there's really nothing out there. I mean, you would have to get probably like a S63 coupe um, or like a Bentley GT, you know, to get this type of space, but you're not really gonna take that surfing. Well, you're not really gonna take this surfing either, but, but it's just nice to know that you can, okay? Life is about options, baby. You know, when you get the options, feels pretty fucking good. So, yeah. All right, okay. So like I told you, this first whole fit, like I guess three feet, you know, is that engine. The engine doesn't start till here and it goes all the way into the center console. Uh, so that is why, that is what you call a front mounted mid engine, which is pretty fucking cool if you ask me. It has four wheel drive. 
and four wheel steering in the back. A lot of engineering and technology had to go into this car to make this car actually work. That's why this car is so, so special. And I might just keep it forever. I've put a lot of miles on it since I've had it because this is the first car where I just want to drive it. I want to drive it everywhere, you know? <laughs> All right. The difference in this model is that it is an upgraded version of the Ferrari interior. It has the big screen, has this cool little diffuser thing that I can like open and and close. I mean, it's a gimmick, but yeah, fuck, we love gimmicks, right? Yeah, navigation to my right. Uh, th this pops up navigation as well. Uh, you got the passenger display, and uh, let's see if I can get this little thing out. So it has this like little robot arm that pushes the seatbelt to me. Um, I think that's pretty cool because the car's so long, right? You want to reach back there and get it. So it pushes it forward for you. I uh, think that's pretty cool. You know, we have cup holders, baby. And then not just one, but see this flips over and then I have two cup holders. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, it really is an everyday car. Uh, glove compartment and uh, yeah, plenty of space for everything you need. So yeah. I mean, that's the interior, right? Uh, heated seats, too. Can you believe that? It has seat heated seats. So, yeah. That's a nice little amenity on a Ferrari. Okay. That's about it. All right. So, you know, today was an awesome day. We got to drive the Luso to the beach. We surfed. Um, the waves are small, but, you know, such is life, right? Um, that's a GTC for Lusa. We really like this car. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments and what you guys think we're gonna do to it because you know we're gonna mod it, right? And um, you know, that'll be on the next Lusa vlog. And uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, thank you for your support. Back to Type A.